Hey, yo, what's up, YouTube, man? So um, just now it's breaking news that Lil Collins just got released. Um, he's Since he got released, this is a signifies for, like, the NFL or whatever that he's a, a – that he's a June, he's a post June first cut, so it saves the Cowboys ten million. It doesn't matter. The Cowboys are inept. It doesn't matter because right now, even though we have like twenty six, twenty seven million, you add the ten million on there, we're almost gonna have almost forty million in cap space. But I already know we're not gonna use it because we're just right now since we released him. Um, you guys already probably heard the news about Demarcus Lawrence, how Stephen Jones wanted to give. Uh, Demarcus Lawrence. Then Steven had to go back to Jerry and had to tell him, you know, Jerry would like just give him his money. So then that's how the three year, $30 million went down and it saved us about $13 million in cap space. But um, we already know with the coach, the current coach and staff that we have right now, they already believe and they already like Terrence Steele over Lowell Collins. And um, it's not Lowell Collins' fault, but you know, with the uh, you know, ever since that Mike McCarthy has been here, Mike, uh, you know, he hasn't had any good reputation with Mike McCarthy because as soon as Lowell Collins got paid, you know, he got hurt the season after. And they were saying reports came in saying that, you know, he was out of shape and everything like that. And then he had a hip injury from a car accident that he had. And then he was sidelined for the rest, you know, he was sidelined for the season. Then he comes back, he has an amazing game against the Buccaneers, and then they give him the five games of the PEDs almost directly after, you know, they were trying to say, you know, and then the reason, the original suspension was going to be like two or three games, but then apparently the whole bribe situation came out, which made it to five. So um, it doesn't matter how much cap space the Cowboys have in free agency, we won't use the money to be counterproductive in anything. Um, our D end room is very, you know, kind of thin at the moment right now because we have D law. Uh, you know, we're, we're apparently going to resign uh, Dorrance Armstrong, and then we're getting Terrell Basham. He's already been on the roster, and we have Chauncey Golston. But um, I don't know what this. I don't know what it means. You know, because the Cowboys have forty million in cap space again. Probably not going to do anything. Uh, probably going to sit around free agency, sign our own. Um, today, maybe we might sign J. Ron Curse. I don't know. Um, but other than that, man, uh, we just let go of Lyle Collins again for nothing. It's kind of weird how you know, all the NFL looks for offensive linemen, and now we just let one of the, you know, one a pretty solid elite tackle guard, and we just let him out on the market for nothing. So, um, yeah, man. So then again, if you're a Cowboys fan expecting the Cowboys to do anything in free agency, don't expect them to. They already missed out on almost all the free agents they could possibly pick up at the end. Uh, there's, there's still Jadavion Clowney, and apparently Danell Hunter is up for trade. But the Dallas Cowboys aren't going to give up any draft capital to uh, get a Danell Hunter if he is available for trade and anything like that. So, yeah, so just expect the season to not be that well because... The Cowboys, you know, the Cowboys are already sabotaging it for when maybe, possibly, if Sean Payton comes and be our head coach next year. So, yeah, man, that's it. Hope you guys have a nice video. Hope you guys have a nice day. Bye.